Let's look at how images edited in GIMP are used in the ray tracer. Here we're doing a fractal trace on an already complicated image and saving it. We're applying the same transformation to this American Harrison selfie. The transparent areas are going to turn into mirrors. And it's a fractal trace, depth 2. And we'll save that. Now we'll go into the ray tracer. And we see the first image uses a texture in a block that has been used with a noise function to make, draw a noise block landscape into the world. And here we see the Harrison selfie pre-fractal trace. Now we're going to get little, little, tiny cursor cube. That cube is tiny compared to the mirror cube that we're about to draw it into. In fact, you won't even be able to see it. But it's the center of that detail there. And drawing this tiny cube into the big mirror cube induced some kind of transformation, some kind of change in spatial structure, as potentially any drawing into the structure of this world can do. But let's look at that a little more closely. Here we have the fractalized Harrison selfie. And we'll go over here and make sure we have a small cursor. That's the same ah that cursor. Okay. So now we've got an empty cube of space surrounded by a purple translucent frame. And we draw it into the fractalized Harrison selfie mirror. It induces a structural change. And now we get inside surely that was worth more attention, but Ah, here we have a lobster, and you see that drawing a little hole into it induces a noticeable change in structure, which looks, in some sense, incorrect on the big face that we're drawing. However, this is necessary in order that when we're inside a small tunnel that we draw, it looks correct. It looks like a pseudo-solid from inside a hole of any size. But from larger sizes, the faces induce may not look correct. And here we see that the purple cube, when it is the purple ordered empty space cube, drawing into it induces Well,